Now moving on and starting with testing our reference load here on the power supplies in the first instance. So I know the value which is 10 ohm and very very important you have to avoid at that low level of resistance any additional resistance in the system. They will have crucial consequences in your measurements. So what I have done here is I connect a direct small um, lead from the resistor that's why it is um, backwards on the resistance over here to um, the input side and this is in parallel so that before I have done that with this wiring it did at about half a ohm so that's really completely did throw off my complete measurement but now that at the moment is working very very short direct connected it's the lead is only it's a very very thick 2.5 mil um, copper wire connected and only about five centimeter long so that is working and but I cannot add a current probe with a current probe um, it shows off my calculation because this is already current probe now let's have a look we start up you see here um, it is not rounded up so if I get go a little bit higher you see here 10 or 9 it's rounding up However, at 5 volt it doesn't show 5 volt. So for 10 ohm, my calculation at 5 volt is 500 millivolt, milliampere, sorry. That's what the resistor has to give me as reference. So I'm at 5 volt, it says 5.1. 5.8 go a little bit lower see if that makes sense so I have to pull it it's quite difficult to keep it to that level but it's accurate I would say it's accurate so that's the first good test now let's test the other two power supplies I have as well briefly so we do the same test now on this 50 volt power supply. <coughs> I go up to 5 volt. And see if I reach my 500 milli ampere. Four dot nine nine four five volt. It's a bit lower, well, yeah it goes to 5. That looks good as well. I'm pleased with that. Let's move on to the next power supply. This is now my 120 volt power supply. Let's see if that, how that works. So ampere reading is much more detailed here which is good. Wow, that is very, very good. Let's have a look, go a little bit further down. It's very, very difficult to hold, but I think I'm, I'm happy with this result. It's very sensitive. Okay, no, that looks very, very good. Promising. Let's move on to my next tests. Under AC. The subject is a complete different matter. First of all, I have much more resistance here network because too much cabling. Second, optimization is not taking place between my amplifier, output amplifier, through the load. There is no matching network existing. That means we have resistance here as well. Then we have also the load from the driver died, which which I kept at 5 volt. The current probe probably needs to be adjusted as well. So the 5 volt value is a really low value. I would have to use special equipment like a current probe amplifier to be much more accurate at a low level. 
but as you can see here at 5 volt I don't reach my 500 milliamp I supposed to have I have my peak to peak voltage okay it comes almost through it should be around 10 volt here also not correctly able to measure because there is no radio frequency coming out so I have to take, pick it up directly from the network so the wattage here calculate from uh, the current so the current here is almost correct it's about uh, 360 340 milliamp it's equivalent to what is shown here that comes from the amplifier picked up by the current probe and then, then there is the average measurement here taking place of 280-290 milliwatt yeah that is equivalent um, to what is shown here however let's now have a look and go higher in frequency so we are at sine wave we are at 1 kilohertz so let's go up the frequency and see how that is changing here. It will change a little bit, but it should not change much. Let's have a look. Let's go up to 10 kilohertz. So at 10 kilohertz, how what are we seeing? We see nothing has changed here still the same value here I'm slightly less I'm more accurate now to that value I had before so at 10 kilohertz the current probe is much more working more accurately 340 milliampere here it's exactly as it is shown here and it's about 349 milliwatt that is also accurate to the value it shows now let's go up in frequency 20 kilohertz it stays as it is let's go 30 kilohertz it stays as it is 40 yeah hasn't changed it goes slightly lower here in current because of resistance of the cable because we're talking about AC that means the AC resistance will increase the higher the frequency is let's go to 50 50 kilohertz but nice to see here it's it's slight de derivation but not much only slight going down here at 50 kilohertz now let's go to 100 kilohertz now here I have network issues that means the cable network is starting because it is wiring even if it's a short wiring here this this little wiring here is causing an issue here in peaking in, in, in current values which are actually not in network so we want to avoid to see something like that that means our setup our network connectivity has to be via coax cable that means the way I have connected at the moment the resistor is not the way I can use in an AC environment because of the standard wiring it is currently available here it will become a network um, a coil if you want and the wires are becoming uh, they will resonate they will they will integrate energy into the system and that's what you can see here um, briefly it goes up dramatically so if you go up to 200 kilohertz so that is now interesting so that is confirmed so we had we had a peak here at 100 kilohertz and it's coming down so that means we have a frequency shift because of resonance um, appearances in the network which cause the deprivation of the results here I don't want to see any change here up to higher frequencies however there was one change here which was quite dramatic which I did not want to see so that means the network need to be optimized for that however currently with a resistor in that network I'm kind of pleased 
I'm not so pleased about that, that my value is not coming up to, the, to that range. That means my output amplifier is not taking the full advantage of the power. That means the MOSFET can utilize this energy only at higher frequencies. But at a first glance I can already, already say that there is some kind of deficiency in the system which I can tackle down now much easier. So that is the conclusion for this video. Thank you.